Chainsaws are a modern miracle. They can plane through wood in seconds, but you know what? They can plane through us just as quick. There's at least 40 to 90,000 injuries each year from a chainsaw with another 20 to 60 deaths. If you're gonna run a chainsaw, you gotta run it safe and you gotta be wearing your PPE. There's no such thing as a minor chainsaw cut. The required PPE for chainsaw use from head to toe is a helmet, eye protection, hearing protection, leg protection, and cut resistant boots. Since almost four out of five chainsaw injuries occur on the leg, protecting this part of the body makes perfect sense. We have protective materials that provide a fair degree of protection, but you have to remember they are cut resistant, not cut proof. The first layer the chain hits is the outer shell and the chain moves very quickly, then strikes the safety pad beneath. The chain snags on this material which wads up and clogs the chain and the sprocket. Any leg protection should not stop at the knees but extend down to your boots. They should overlap your boots by a couple of inches. You should also consider wraparound protection so the back of the leg is protected as well. Chainsaw cuts have occurred on the backs of the legs. This usually occurs when bucking up a fallen tree and a cut branch springs back up and drives the saw into the leg. Wear cut resistance pants as tight as it is comfortable. If these pants or chaps are worn too loose, they can be pulled when contact with the chain is made, leaving the leg exposed. Boots are another requirement for safe chainsaw use. About 1 in 20 chainsaw injuries occurs to the foot, most commonly the left foot, and at the base of the big toe. Boots should be cut resistance and have a good non-skid tread. There are lots of choices for helmets these days. Regardless of the helmet you choose, consider selecting one with a chin strap to reduce the helmet coming off in a side impact, for example, when a branch hits. Not all objects fall directly on the head. Also, consider one with a front brim that extends out from the shell in front. This brim provides more protection for the eyes and the nose. Eye protection is a requirement and a smart idea. Lacerations to the face, most often the left side of the face, do occur from chainsaw kickback, and these ragged cuts include the eye. The other need for eye protection is reduce the potential for shrapnel-sized particles from contact in the eye while cutting. Eye protection must comply with ANSI Z87.1 standards, which provide for UV protection, be anti-fog, and scratch resistant. Buy a pair that has wraparound lenses or has side protection. Twigs and other debris can come from the side and scratch the cornea, the outer layer of the eyeball. These types of eye injuries, while not often serious, can be very painful. Hearing protection is not to prevent lacerations to the ear, but to reduce noise-induced hearing loss. The noise generated by a chainsaw can have significant impact on your hearing. You can obtain protection through the use of muffs, soft plugs, or banded plugs. They can all provide good protection, but only if you use them. 